Hey guys, Shoei here playing more Night in the Woods. I am very interested in seeing how this develops. Um, I have, I, I, I just realized that I haven't been exploring the game enough um, the past few days. I am very sad about it. I thought I was doing what was correct, just going through the story, but it seems like I should have been exploring the whole town and seeing what seeing what the game has to offer before going and uh, doing the band practice or hanging out with my friends at night and so on. So maybe I'd miss a couple of things, but I couldn't be sure. I would have to replay the game, I guess. Sup, dude. Sup. Huh? Long night, weird night. Sup. I'll tell you at band practice. Okay, there's. There is where, where I'm gonna tell everyone. What you up to? Uh, gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Am I gonna tell them about the kidnapping and stuff? Hey, dude. <clears throat> you okay? You look tired. I mean, they had a date last night. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out on the roof. You have that? Hmm. Mm. Maybe we should investigate that later. Now, I can like... I don't know. Run from the uh, door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Let me, let me see the controls again. Uh, blue, yellow, red, green. A, X, B, Y. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Pumping in head guy. Oh, I didn't mean to. Ah, no, I am so freaking bad. Ah. No, I hate this. Why am I so bad at this game? I'm using both hands now. You're freaking kidding me. Pumpkin head guy. Okay, so... That was not very loud. And I missed everything. Pretty bad is what I was. It was. I literally did not know this song. Phew. Anyway, so fast. You just push the button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. Can we talk about what I saw last night? And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also, I think, was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. 
because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No! I'm kinda freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Huh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude. Don't be like that. You got us. Oh, dude. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like from a source we can trust. Such as... Does a newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. Horror stories, checking the local library. For books? About it? No, they have a local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Yeah, uh, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. How? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! That's the spirit. Okay guys, so we're going to the library now. Something that I would have gone done from the very beginning if I was in this town. Wow! Look! Jobs! We were like... When this was painted it was like... Hey, look out the window! We're all working. Uh, things are great. Now it's like... One of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Yeah... I wouldn't want one of those jobs though. Hey! Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Uh, third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here, all alone. I'd be spooked. Huh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Larry. Maybe maybe that's the, the killer people. Person. H human. Uh, animal human, I mean. This is a nice library, actually. I am surprised that Bea is allowed to smoke in here. And I'm surprised that the cigarette on her... Like, it's not connected to her mouth at all. It's just floating there. Anyway, uh, here's a computer. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my junk socialist chat brox group? I mean, I wouldn't, but may might. Holy crap! What? This charity verity. What's Charity Verity? How do you not know Charity Verity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this is what a thing you like as a kid? No, I hate the Charity Verity. It does look really hateable. It was like... Oh... You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic tamask, 
that's not okay. Yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was talking forever about being kind of to others. And like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. <laughs> that sounds nice. Charity Verity helps Mr. Old Flunko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Verity, pink nightmareity. Charity Verity, I just don't carity. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one uh, looks pretty old. Charity Verity, danger everywhereity. It's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating uh, that one book. Am I supposed to go this way? Nope. What am I supposed to do? Actually, what I'm supposed to do is to close the freaking window, I think. So, uh, be right back. <clears throat> Alright, so... Is what we're looking for on this floor, I wonder. Let's see. Maybe we need to go to the next floor. Going up. So, this was just exploring stuff, I guess. Now let's go explore this floor. Sniff and sniff. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. <laughs> While carrying something. Oh right, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I'm going through and that's not good. That all sounded a, mo a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. So the game started taking a, a turn for the better I guess. Alright, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't not know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? <laughs> this whole thing was my idea. I am an expert detective. I solved the murder earlier with my mother. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww, yes, I knew she was gonna say that. Uh huh. We friends, Beatrice. Here, let me guess this setup. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. We cannot be here all night. Um. Uh, it's like two hours until they close. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Oh, jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, how do we do this? Huh? Step one, look at the screen. I am looking. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Tragedy as stunt for mine. An explosion occurred. Work ceased. Wild man. Rescue any survivors. This is interesting, but. Yeah, not exactly a ghost. What about this? Neil store in downtown center. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like. You don't believe me. <laughs> Strike. Um. Not really. Local ghost, little Joe, at it again. 
Oh look! A scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you are looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. She's actually interested in graves. Uh, how could you not be interested? This is like actual ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Um, let me read this news. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin, the old section. Okay, his grave became destination for unruly and often destructive local youth. Oh. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Um, possum statue. Finally, demolition. Hmm. Pirate. By piracy. I don't think that's uh, related. Progress in Possum Springs. This is about the dog. Underground gases. Hmm. Is this important? No ghost. Okay. Strikes. Opinion line. Ghostly rumors. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society. History that won't say history in a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill. An actual haunted house. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. It's still worth checking out, okay. Uh, Deep Hollow County Moors. Peter Lighta. Lighta. No ghost here. A tale of teeth. This is gnarly. And awesome. Oh my god. Bad bosses. Uh, events. Possum massacre. No ghost here. Photograph of two children who were shot in cold blood. That's horrible. Tragedy. The spectral happenings. Hey, look at this. Yeah, like, uh, looks like possum jump. Let me read it. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as possum jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11:45 a.m. A figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beauty, full view uh, of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Possum Jump. Uh, that's back up in the state park, right? Yep. Ever been up there? Nope. Uh, gonna check it though. Go nuts. 
Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go. So, we've got some leads. Can I borrow your card this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards. I don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, uh, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd. Ever heard that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So, we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. My freaking god. Wait, can we just leave? I don't know why we have to go one floor at a time. What is that red book there? <gasps> Where, who are these people? Ahem. What is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Wait, what? Is just one person? Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight we have a new, we have new points from myself and Fisherman Jones. I will start us off with one of, of my own. She's from some big city, right? Hmm. They don't actually pay her in a string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in a string. I was just joking. Right. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life. Out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that. She didn't name names, didn't she? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They are short though. Two poems. Take it away. Huh. Hi folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and rice in slime. But neither do you know past I've trotted uh, so it hardly is your place to judge Okay, that's one poem Next one is shorter This is called Tunnel Frogs Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark Tunnel Frog swims in the dark Must think it would be a lark To be a fisherman like me But what do you know? Amphibi That's it that's great, thanks Fisherman, Fisherman Jones. 
that's all for tonight, everyone. See you in two weeks. Uh, you are all are welcome to join us at Donut Wolf. Donut Wolf. We're going home, May. Aww. Can we not go to Donut Wolf? Okay. Thanks for coming. We live here. Right. So. Find out anything about your ghost? Yes. Tell them, Bea. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Whoa. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I am terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? Share custody of you and your ghost? What places uh, were you thinking about? Well, the great chart. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? <laughs> that is right up Greg's alley. Sure is, the historical society. Uh, you know you don't have to like break in. The people there like get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm f uh, in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. You don't seem scared to death, May. Sub that. Erg. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The Erg. Yippers. So, you and your mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. Yeah, we are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart dustness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. I'll be fine. We're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle, okay. Maybe just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Let's go check our computer. Is everybody talking to me now? Yep. Hey May, let me know when you want to go to the park. I look up a map and it's pretty straight shot to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Nice. Yo, I look up this historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but all stuff that just got torn up seems like it's ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, Bea. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Uh, sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... 
it's fine. Wait, did you just fall asleep? <laughs> Hello? Alright. Well guys, I think then the next part I'm gonna play the dream. Uh, I hope they don't make me find those musicians again. I am getting tired of those dreams. May I hope it has some kind of uh, meaning in the end. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and see you next time. Goodbye.